welcome to another exciting episode of Entertainment Gist and Trendy Stories right here on Yard TV. I'm your host, Bambi Best, your queen of gist. This is Yard 316. The director of special duties for Alantra Martin's party movement for change, Mr. Hobson Adoye, has been arrested. Uh, in your Hobson, good evening, Apo. Yes, just a moment. Hello? Yes, a moment. Yeah, good evening. Uh, uh, have you been detained? Yes, please. No, uh, ministry is police detained right now. Are they? Uh, I know you when I'm in your court, uh, my comment on dynamite nothing happening i know so statement simple i the instructions from a very good i said I'm going to investigate the false publication. And you know, they cannot give me bail uh, until I uh, say, I'm further instruction. And see, the whole thing is that I'm going to add a chain, you know, I'm rushing me to court to go and then look for a. Uh, and see, I'm going to go to the court and go to the court and go to Oh, ministry and police is due to come back and order the cocoon. I'm a mere popular one. Who could rat sales? No, I'm a good year. Make a better later. Okay, all right. He went to a car FM on 10th May for an interview where he revealed that he was part of the people who orchestrated a denotation of dynamite he said he was part of the people who orchestrated a denotation of dynamite he said he was part of the people who orchestrated a denotation of dynamite he said according to him they did that to scare people, the NDC stronghold in that particular area, so that the MPP could win. Me de to me hunso, me nkwa hon. Okay. Anna miye se, ye nko control voter region, more than so. Okay. Because it was evident, is there. Mm. Na, like, ube drew krobis to say. Mm-hmm. Ube dain, ne mpoma ewo togo, ne pono ewo gana. Gana. Eti automatically, no. Omo mo e chire hoji na, no mo chime betu abani bi. Yeah. I took it upon myself. Now I go farm ranch here by a five for voter reason. Now me born one no, me more mo take it out. Okay. Say or mo mo voter reason is a get you some money. Hmm. Ye be ye ye do many na we. Hmm. The fourth time I me kwanza me boy go for do money. No way ye juman did that. Me ye juman na we. I see who. Three days to election, you have to dynamite for two or a year because of in some of the catcher. You have your mom to go to go. Election, they almost take a go see one and go on one and all. Who be a Janico crew? Right now, he's in police custody to help Ghana Police Service with further investigation. The question is that didn't he know he could get into trouble? making such statements on live radio or was it just a propaganda let me know what you think in the comment section below <music> moving on dj azonto jabs very massively and calling him poor so we're all here when dj azonto asks for compensation from the mpp flag bearer dr mahmoud baumia for dancing to his hit song Fanaform. Sydney went for an interview and in the interview said that DJ Azonto is just dreaming and he would not get such an amount of money from the MPP flag bearer. DJ Azonto then replied Sydney saying that Dr. Mahmoud Baumia will be able to pay that compensation because he has the capacity to do it. And Sydney is speaking like that because he is poor so he should be ignored. According to DJ Azonto, he'll be very disappointed in the MPP flag bearer if he doesn't compensate him and he will seek legal redress over the issue. DJ Azonto said he will release a song on 1st June titled Dr. Baumia $10 million if still he is not compensated. Guys, what do you think about this whole issue? Do you think the MPP flag bearer Dr. Baumia will pay such an amount of money? 
just dancing to the hit song or as Sydney is saying, he is just joking. Now to our last story for today, it's a very sad story and it's about a one and only legend, Okonfo Kwade. So a relative of Okonfo Kwade has come out to seek for financial support. Ezekiel Aguirre, who is the relative, disclosed on Joy FM in a recent interview that the legend is now in his hometown, Mirigu Nabango, in the Upper East region. That is where Okonfo Kwade is at the moment. According to Ezekiel, Okonfo Kwade is having mental issues, so they really need money to help with his treatment. He says many people have come online to share ideas or thoughts, but still it all boils down to money. Recently we saw a video of Okonfo Kwade performing, and in the video he looked really frail, he looked so skinny. According to Ezekiel, he wasn't there at that moment, because if he was, he wouldn't have allowed that video to even come out in the first place. Guys, what do you think about this whole Okonfo Kwade issue? What can we do as a people to help this legend? Because he has been part of our childhood and all that. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now that'll be all for today's episode. I'm your host Bambi Best, your Queen of Jess. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media handles at Yad TV. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Yad TV. And for more news updates, visit www.myyadtv.com. Catch you in the next episode. Have a lovely day. Yeah TV, bridging continent.